Many Lacta Flambeau community members showed today they want justice for the murder of Wayne Valier Jr., who his father called the future of our tribe. Four of the five men facing charges in Valier Jr.'s death appeared in Iron County Court today for the first time. On New Year's Day, police found Valier Jr.'s body in a remote part of Iron County. Court documents show Valier Jr. was beat up and then shot several times. Newswatch 12's Allie Herrera was in court today. She joins us live in the studio with more. Allie, good evening. Ben, good evening. The four suspects will stay in jail unless they can come up with $1 million each for cash bonds set by a judge. Wayne Valier Sr. told me he wants everyone involved in the death of his son to be brought to justice. He said he and other tribal members are putting their faith in the justice system. An Iron County courtroom was filled with emotions today as some people yelled at defendants. And at least one defendant left the courtroom laughing. The loss that my family and I feel for the loss of Wayne Jr., Namaniquad, is beyond words. 27-year-old Richard Allen, 26-year-old Joseph Lusher, and 19-year-old James Lusher were all in Iron County Court. 27-year-old Evan Ongst appeared by video conference. All four men faced first-degree intentional homicide and hiding corpse felonies in the death of Wayne Valier Jr. We were quite happy with the uh, when the when the judge kept the uh, the bonds up at a million cash. We feel that everybody. Um, needs to be brought to justice. Valier Sr. said everyone in their community is feeling the effects of this case. It's like dropping a, a pebble into water. The ripples go outward and this case has touched so many people not only not only in Lac de Flambeau, but throughout Indian country. Valier Sr. said his son was a good guy and cared a lot about others. He was a person that uh, loved this culture, loved life, respected people and trusted people. And um, he was a good, a good young man, and he was the, one of the futures of our tribe. Valier Sr. also says he and other Lac de Flambeau community members are putting their faith in the justice system. Even after it's all said and done, we still don't get our son back, and we still have to bear that loss for, for the rest of our lives. 26-year-old Curtis Wolf was not in court today. His initial appearance is scheduled for March 12th. Now, the future court dates of the other defendants have not yet been set. They all face life in prison if found guilty.